This video is about graphing using the rectangular coordinate system, which was invented by René Descartes. And he is the philosopher who gave us the rectangular or Cartesian coordinate system. So if I choose this value right here, this point, this is the number one on the x-axis and two on the y-axis. So this point right here is one, two, and that gives us a way to graph equations. Next, we'll consider finding the x-intercept or the point where the graph crosses the horizontal or x-axis that will have the coordinates x, zero, where x is some value and y equals zero. If we want to find x, we let y equal zero and we solve for x. Similarly, if we want to find the y-intercept, the point where the graph crosses the y-axis, let x equal zero and solve for y. And we can see our x-intercept on this graph is the point x equals eight, y equals zero. And our y-intercept on this graph is the point x equals zero, y equals six. In this example, we want to find the x-intercept and the y-intercept of the equation 3x plus 2y equals 12. For the x-intercept, we find that when y equals 0, so that would be 3x plus 2 times 0 equals 12, which means that 3x equals 12 or x equals 4. The x-intercept is a point, so the x-intercept is the point x equals 4 y equals zero. To find the y-intercept, that is the point where x equals zero. So I have three times zero plus two y equals 12. So two y equals 12, y equals six. And the y-intercept is a point, and it's the point where x equals zero and y equals six. So if I plot those points, the point where x is 4 and y equals 0, and then I plot the point where x is 0 and y equals 6, it gives me the graph of the line. Next, we'll consider the distance between two points. The first point here, point 1, is the point x1, y1 in the Cartesian plane, and the second point here, p2, is the point x2, y2. And the distance between them is given by the formula d equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And I wanted you to notice this distance right here, this distance is x, the absolute value of x2 minus x1, or that distance. And this distance right here is the absolute value of y2 minus y1. So this is this distance. So really the distance formula is just the Pythagorean theorem. If we have a right triangle, the square of the hypotenuse, which is c in this case, equals the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So in our distance formula, we start with the Pythagorean theorem, d squared equals the length of the x side. That is the absolute value of x2 minus x1 all squared plus the absolute value of y2 minus y1 all squared. Now for all real numbers, if we square the absolute value, that's actually just the same as squaring the number itself. So we could change the absolute value symbols there to d squared equals x2 minus x1 all squared plus y2 minus y1 all squared. And then when we take the square root, we get the distance formula. In this example, I'm asked to find the distance between the points negative 2, negative 2, and 1, 1. I'll have to use the distance formula. So the point 1, 1, I'm going to think of that as x2, y2, and the point negative 2, negative 2, I'm going to think of that as x1, y1, because of course these have to be x, y points. So that makes this point right here will be x is 1, y is negative 2. So just by counting this I can see this distance is 3 and also this distance is 3. Let's apply the distance formula. I want to find this length between these two points. So d, the distance, is equal to the square root of x2, which is 1, subtract negative 2, all squared, plus the distance of 
y2, which is 1, subtract negative 2, all squared. And that gives me the square root of 3 squared plus 3 squared. And of course, that is the square root of 18. And I need to simplify that. There's a perfect square inside 18 because 18 is equal to 9 multiplied by 2. So that equals the square root of 9 times the square root of 2 or 3 times the square root of 2. So this distance here, the distance between my two points, d is equal to 3 multiplied by the square root of 2. Let's finish up by talking about the midpoint formula. And this is to find the midpoint of a line segment between the points x1, y1, and x2, y2. And that is the point where you take the average. So instead of the distance formula, which uses a negative, here we're going to add x1 plus x2 and divide by 2. That's the x-coordinate. Then we're going to add y1 plus y2 and divide by 2, and that's the y-coordinate. So I'm going to label my points. I'm going to call this one x1 and this one y1 and this one x2 and this one y2. So I know how to apply the formula. The midpoint then is the point x1, so negative 3, plus 1 divided by 2. That'll be the x-coordinate of the midpoint. And then I'll have 3 subtract 1 divided by 2. That'll be the y-coordinate of the midpoint. So this is going to give me negative 2 divided by 2 as the x-coordinate and positive 2 divided by 2 as the y-coordinate. So the midpoint is negative 1, 1. So negative 1, 1. And here's the point that's exactly halfway between the point negative 3, 3 and the point 1, negative 1.